Hi everyone, Mike, your local farmer with Mount Hope Farms here. And today we snuck in an oil change that was long overdue on this 4020 while we had it in the shop here working on it. I mentioned the 4020 was in here in the shop. We've been doing some work on it. A little more than our standard uh, winter work on it. Taking apart the front end, replacing a few parts that are worn, and checking the machine over very thoroughly as well as getting some dents taken out of the tin and a little bit of a paint job. Now we got held up because when we were checking the front end over out here, we found a few more parts that were worn than what we had expected and they're ordered from John Deere, but they aren't here yet. So while we were waiting, we decided to get in here and get the oil changed on this because it was long overdue. Our oil plug is down here in the bottom and right here, this metal casing is where the oil filter is located at. One of the nice things about these older tractors and this vintage is the people that designed these really thought about the people that are gonna be working on them and servicing them. They put this casing in here where it's close enough to the oil drain plug to where you can get one bucket under there and catch the oil from the pan as well as from the filter. The only thing I kind of wish is that the fill port and dipstick were on this side too. They're on the other side, but that's not a huge problem. Now watch along and we'll uh, show you what we're doing on changing the oil. Now the oil change is all finished up on the 4020 and a few things I haven't gone over yet on it. It uses about three gallons of oil. I know that's a question we may get. That's roughly how much oil is in it. We use 1540 on it. It's a diesel engine, that's what they take. We also put oil additive in there to help extend the life and keep everything running nice and smooth on this tractor for us. Usually we try to change the oil once a year or every hundred hours, whichever comes first. Now this one was, I'm afraid to say a bit overdue. It was changed back in the spring of 2016. It had 150, 175 hours on. We don't like to let them go like that, but things got away from us, life came up. That stuff happens. Everything else is in pretty good repair on it. And like I've shown you several times over here, we are going through and doing some pretty significant work on it this winter. We're going through everything we can, getting it back up into tip-top shape 
so that it'll run great and dependable for us well into many more years into the future. So thank you again for watching. If you like what you've seen, be sure and subscribe to our channel. Keep up with what's going on because we're going to be putting up what we're doing on the farm, give you a behind the scenes look at what's going on. We're also on Facebook and Instagram, all under Mount Hope Farms. So be sure to go on, check us out on those different formats. Check us out here, comment, interact with us. We love answering questions. We love to share with you what we're doing. So thank you again, and I look forward to seeing you again soon.